The NBA Finals, a couple of days away, and we're here with Dwayne Rankin and Kent Summers of AZ Central in the Arizona Republic. And Dwayne, you had a big thought about this series from the beginning of the playoffs with Suns and Bucks making it this far. Talk about that a little bit, what your thoughts were there. It's just luck. I mean, let's just keep it 100. Um, but no, seriously, no, it was just going through USA Today. They asked us to give predictions and, you know, safe pick and bold picks. And my safe pick was Lakers over Sixers. But my bold pick was Suns over Bucks. So, you know, let's either go bold or be wrong. And so far, going bold has got, got, got us here. So we'll just stick with that. And Kent, now that we are there, uh, what are your thoughts on on just these two teams making it to the NBA Finals? Yeah, that's kind of fun, right? I mean, two teams. Uh, this this is what it was shaping up as for the uh, last several weeks. It was probably going to be two teams that hadn't been there in a long, long time. And what's interesting to me, too, is you can see the two fan bases get so excited about this. I mean, Phoenix fans are going crazy because it's been 28 years. Then you see the Bucks on TV and people outside, thousands of people outside the arena. I mean, it, it's cool that this is happening in cities where, you know, fans aren't accustomed to this. They aren't sort of yawning about this, like, OK, let's, you know, we, we've been here before, you know. So I, I think there's that newfound or renewed enthusiasm in, in both places. That's kind of fun. And Dwayne, your thoughts on these teams both getting here? And I mean, what do you what do you think? I mean, as far as as we get into the series, too. I mean, Milwaukee. This has kind of been the not kind of. This has been the mission since they started having the best record in the league. You start like you start having the best record in the league, and you and the goal is to get to the finals. And they had that the two previous years and didn't make it. Phoenix. This is this is also this is like a you know process that got sped up once they got Chris Paul then it went from well we'll probably make the playoffs to be a low seed to win now and not later and so that 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 trade changed the thinking of this franchise and, and then this just led to him obviously playing being you know fifth in MVP voting so he's obviously been huge but you can't discredit uh you, know, you can't under under undermine or undersell the importance of Devin Booker, uh, he has had some tremendous games. DeAndre Ayton has taken his game to another level on a complete level. If you look at the Suns, um, they're, they're probably the most complete team in terms of depth, talent, uh, leadership, uh, you know, ability to, 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 to play different styles. But both of these teams are here because they both play defense. In the playoffs, the Bucs are first in – Defensive rating, the Suns are second. That's not a coincidence. Kent, what do the Suns need to do to, to win the finals, in your opinion? Try to avoid those games where, you know, they're, I, I don't want to say lackadaisical, but, you know, the, the current popular term is, you know, they got to be locked in. They can't, if they do get a lead in the series, they, they can't come out like they did you know, against the Clippers. I think they can't give the Bucks life. I think if you, if they get up on the Bucks, say, and they've got, they're up 2-1 and they got a chance to go 3-1, they, they got to do it. Because two, partly, if, you know, Giannis probably going to miss some games in this series. And the longer it goes, obviously, the better chances he has of coming back and influencing it. So I, I think if the Suns can jump on them early, they've got to do it. And I agree with Dwayne. Milwaukee's such a good defensive team. Monty Williams has has said, you know, in a in a Zoom call on Sunday, they're big, they're physical, all the way from the guards down to the bigs. And can the Suns keep moving the ball? Can they play that point five style, or do they kind of devolve into one on one like they did too many times against the Clippers? That's when they really struggle. And for you, Dwayne, for success for the Suns to win the finals, it looks like what? Well, just to piggyback off what Kent said, when you look at the schedule for the finals, they're like, at least first two are Tuesday, Thursday. Then there's like two days in between games. So the longer the series goes, the more time Giannis can get back. So if the Suns can get up, you know, 3-1 after game four, you know, you don't, the longer it goes, the more time Giannis can can get back in the series. Now, if you get, if you get this done in five games and, he may not be a factor, but if it's going six and seven, 
then he's got more time to get back. Predictions here for the series. Kent, let's start with you. What do you see happening? I like the Suns, even if Giannis comes back. I just think it'll be a longer series if he does. I, I, I do. I, I think the Suns, as Dwayne mentioned earlier, they're the most complete team. They can do a lot of different things. Monty Williams has a lot of options, and we've seen him use those in these playoffs. So, um, I, I okay, I'm going to go with the late, great Joe Gilmartin, Phoenix Gazette columnist. Let's go Suns in six. Okay, Suns in six. Dwayne, your thoughts? I'm going to go Suns in seven. I, I, I think Giannis is going to find his way back in this series. And if, and if he does, I, I, I think that that will extend the series. And I, I, just see a, I just see a seven games, and I see the Suns winning in seven. I think all that time that they fought to get the home court advantage, all that time that they, that when they didn't rest guys. Other teams were resting guys. They weren't resting guys. All those sacrifices that they made so they could end up in this position is going to pay off. If it goes seven, I I could see it going seven. It would be a long time in coming for Suns fans, and it all gets underway Tuesday night, Phoenix Suns Arena, the NBA Finals, the Bucks versus the Suns, and you can get all of our coverage right here at azcentral.com.